Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing? I got some Ground War Deathmatch. Uh, it's a very, very close game. So, you should definitely watch it, or watch the ending, at least. Uh, I don't know why people have such high standards for Call of Duty. For YouTube, anyways. Like, half the people don't watch the gameplay, and, you know, they just listen to somebody talk, so... You know, I don't know. I do the same thing. I just listen to people talk. I don't really watch it, but, I mean, if you want to watch it, you can watch it, and if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. It's a very close game, though, and uh, I'm going to do a play-by-play -play towards the end, because it does kind of get epic. So, uh, today, I want to talk about fun. Fun, 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 in Call of Duty, and just in games. Uh, I can't... Actually, I can remember the last time I had fun in a Call of Duty game, and that was at, like, Call of Duty 4 and World at War. That was, what, four or five years ago? That was a long time ago. And it just hit me, and I'm just like, Call of Duty is so routine. Like, it's... What I mean by that is... All you're doing is going around and killing people over and over and over again. And... You know, you're going, like, what, 50 and 5 and 40 and 2. I don't know what you're going. But, like, if you're decent at this game, you're just going to, you know, kill lots of people in one game. And is that re are you really having fun? The only time I really have fun in a Call of Duty game, or not in a Call of Duty game, yeah, in a Call of Duty game, is just screwing, screwing around, like, uh, sniping or no-scoping or tomahawking or crossbow. You know, just using that weird setup class and you just go around and you don't really care you just whatever i know a lot of people have fun when they do their 360 no scopes and if you have fun doing that then hey you have fun doing that i mean i don't really care as long as you don't bother me and you know do something stupid when i'm trying to play but if you have fun doing that hey whatever but god i haven't had fun forever in this game and a couple of reasons why I think I'm not really having a lot of fun. It has to do with the game. It's more like the game hasn't really changed in a long, long time. And I don't know if that's a good thing or if it's a bad thing. But I'm going to compare it to Halo and Battlefield. Uh, Halo has vehicles and so does Battlefield. And I get a lot of fun out of those. Just the vehicles alone in those games. Like in Battlefield, you can uh, ride jeeps around and jets and tanks. I remember my first time getting into a jet in Battlefield and I crashed it. God, <laughs> like, I can remember that. That was just an epic moment. And I don't really have those in Call of Duty. I can't remember like an epic moment I had in Call of Duty. Actually, I can remember one and that's it. And that was like a no scope in Call of Duty 4. But that's it. Like, I can't remember any epicness about Call of Duty and like it's I don't think that's a good thing like in Halo they have vehicles too and if you ever got yeah if you guys ever played Halo have someone in the side seat no scoping oh. <laughs> or just or just like driving the Banshee that's fun as hell like uh splattering people with the Warhog like come on that's so much fun even the custom games in Halo people come up with some awesome custom games very awesome. And Call of Duty doesn't really have any custom games. They have competitive custom games. And if you're not competitive, what do you do, you know? And I'm going to compare it to Minecraft real quick. Minecraft to me is fun, the, the single player. But when you add uh, adventure maps to it, god damn, it's like a custom game. It's like hundreds of custom games. They're all different custom games. If you don't like one game, you can just, you know, pick another one. And I feel Call of Duty doesn't have that at all. You just have to play what they give you. And if you don't like it, then tough luck. You just have to go around and kill people. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I really don't. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just, maybe I'm just growing out of Call of Duty. Maybe that's what it is. I'm, I've had too much Call of Duty. Maybe I have to take a break or something. I don't know. But I remember playing games as a little kid and having so much fun with Pokemon and 007. And all those games were single player games. And it's kind of weird to think that I'm having more fun playing single player games than I am multiplayer games. Like uh, online games. 
like I'm having a lot of fun playing Saints Row. Lots of fun. Lots of fun playing that game. And of course that game gets boring kind of fast, but god, that game is so creative and different. And maybe that's what Call of Duty and other games have to do. They just have to be different. Like I get a lot of enjoyment out of playing indie games. Maybe maybe uh I'm just sick of first person shooters. I don't know. I hope I made some sense here and I didn't just ramble. Ramble, ramble, ramble. But uh yeah. That's basically what I wanted to talk about. Uh, let's just hope uh, new games come out and they add a different element besides Call of Duty and like first person shooters because Call of Duty is so simple when you really think about it so simple and maybe they'll change it up I don't know but uh, let's, uh, let's do the play by play right here okay I'm sitting behind here I'm shooting that wall and then I get sniped in the back it's so stupid so right now we're losing by 6 right I get this epic spawn. I'm running. I'm like, God damn, we can't lose. No. Where's the guy? Where's the guy? Where's the guy? Getting shot at. And we win. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.